Probably you are. I don't know if this started all over again, so let me start again. Hello, Nesties. It's Netta from Netta's Nest Zone, 10 so, um West Central Florida. And here I am um, on this beautiful day. It's um, 80 plus degrees. It started off really cool, and now it is like smoking hot. It's hot. I had a cardigan on earlier, and I'm... Um, I had this on. I was so hot walking around Big Blue Box store today. And I'm like, oh my goodness, this is not a good time to be having a hot flash. I had sweat pouring all down my neck. Anywho, it was so hot. But I went in there today and I found this. Hey, CC girl, I saw you just spilling over yours. This is a dragon fruit. And my husband tried it when we were in Mexico and he enjoyed it. It was on the sales rack. Um, price is $24.98, 50% off. I called my mama. I said, Mama, this thing is like $12. She's like, get it. She says, the yellow ones are sweet. I'm like, well, I don't know what kind it is, Mama, because it has a yellow fruit and a pink fruit on it. You know, reading is um, fundamental. So I read it. Yellow. And Mama's like, the yellow one is, um, excuse me, the yellow one is sweeter. So welcome to the nest dragon fruit i gotta find you a spot to live in this nest and i picked up some these are on sale for five dollars um some honey mix container i need to backfill a lot of my um my flowers so i picked up that i picked up two of those one two and i need some bone meal oh i'm throwing things down Pick the back some bone meal and some fertilizer. I was trying to pick up some peat moss, but me being um, ignorant to the fact that those big, uh, I wanted some peat moss. I went to grab that big old thing and I didn't know it was so heavy. And mama was like, that thing going, that's going to be twice as much, whatever that stuff is. But I want to use that to fill up my, um, my green stock. So anyhow, I stopped buying this right here, even though I like it. And I think this is what had my garden blooming last um, year. But I stopped buying it because my dogs are obsessed with it. And they were tearing up stuff trying to get to it. So I stopped buying it. So I bought another one. It ain't cheap. And I saw Miss um, Barbara talking about these jade green beans or how good they were. And I was going to order some, and I saw some in the store, so I picked up two packs of those. So I got all that from um, Big Blue Box today. So that was good. And then I went back to I went back to um, oh my goodness, in Largo, Wilcox Nursery, and they have strawberries for four ninety nine. So I got two of them. Because, because, hold tight. I bought one from there last week. I have no shoes on. And this is what it's giving me already. Do you see that? That big old berry. And then it's one, two, three, four more. And it's just like standing up so tall. So what I did was come through all the rest of my... Oh, strawberries, mine that look a mess. My mama gave me, see my mama's strawberries look like this, bigger when she first gave them to me. And then I don't know what I did to them. And this is the result, they look a mess. But I did go by and lift them up a little bit higher. So I'm gonna add those two to, um, to the pile. I came out here yesterday, y'all. The black snake that lives out here, she, I'm calling her she, she is huge. She is huge. And I was like, you need to know what? And I know it was the same snake I saw the last time because the tail is nub. And I think that's the one that gets shook, but it survived. So what are all those flies on my okra for? What is going on over there? Oh, I digress. So that was that. So two things I added. And another thing, does anybody know anything about Egyptian spinach? It's going to seed real good. Oh, that's not me. 
I'm going to see it. I like the spinach. I always have that in my garden. Oh, look at this beauty. Finally, I get it on camera again. Let me get out the that snake over here somewhere. Oh, that's gorgeous. Oh, I can't wait to take a picture of that. Oh, that's pretty. There's another one. Look at this one. Look at the aphids on this one. Look at that. Little stinkers. I'm glad that one was able to open. There go two more. Okay. I got to spray my hibiscus because they are attacking it. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh, it stinks over here. Okay. I want to do a little quick tour. You got, I came out here earlier, guys, and my, um, the cucumber that's barely holding on. The flowers were open so pretty. And they all have, they're all, they all were females. Look at that. And then there's, Two right there oh my goodness and I tried to get a q-tip so I can pollinate and it was like like there was no pollen in it so anyhow just wanted to share that with y'all but that strawberry is a beauty hmm. I'm gonna have to pick it and eat it So yeah, so I got a couple things that's going on. Go to Lizard's for the drive. The puppy's crazy. Move out of the way. Move out of the way. So a couple things going on. I have that. I need to get um, the strawberry in the ground and some fertilizer. I'm going to take my baby back to the store with me to um, get that peat moss because I can't pick it up. And here she is, guys. Look at that. And it's warm in there too. It says 86 degrees, which is too hot. But all the babies, the babies are doing good. I came out here this morning. Y'all, it was 72 degrees now because I had turned it off at nighttime. The heat map, mats and all. And there was a moth flying around in there. I said, how he get his ass in there? So I, I got, but I couldn't find him. So this one over here in the corner here is suspect for bugs because I bought that one from that's um black creme of black purple or Cherokee purple Cherokee purple I got that from um, Wilcox also I got that one and I got these two peppers over here but their leaves are finally turning green but I was suspicious of that over there so, and my onions, I said I wasn't going to plant those out until December, but uh, they're looking like they're drying out. I don't know, guys. Those tomatoes are doing great. Those are more tomatoes. Those are tomatoes and a couple peppers. And then up here, I don't know. Nobody's germinated yet. But yeah, this I love this stand. I really do. So I really do. I, yeah, I'm I'm in. I've been doing my research. I've been reading. You know how I'm gonna get my tomatoes to do okay. Um, they were too cold and too wet. I did some research because I saw some purple tinge on a couple of the leaves, and it says either a um. um mineral deficient or too wet or a parasite i don't think it's a parasite in there they've been in the house even though that moth got in there but i know for a fact that they were too wet and the soil was too cold and i discussed that already earlier on the last video that i um the soil was too cold on the porch because the temperatures had dropped um in these this neck of the woods all right guys just want to do a little quick something something just to share and 
that's just, I got a flu shot. I'm going back to work, y'all. I miss, find me a job I think I'm going to like. And I can't believe I got a flu shot because I hate getting flu shots. I'm all off topic. Anyhow, I, I got a flu shot because the job required it and I couldn't find the, the consent to decline the flu shot. Anyways, that's what that's for. So, any, and, um, not that I'm going back to work. Let's get back on that topic. I'm going back to work full time for someone else because I've been having a little odds and ends on my behalf. But I'm going to go work for an actual company and not my own. I am, for real. <laughs> oh, I'm trying to think of anything else. There is nothing else. I'm looking for that moth that was flying around in this, this little cage here. I'm excited about this cage. I'm going to get the strawberries out. I'm going to eat that big old pretty strawberry. I did pick my little cantaloupe over there. And it was not ripe, but it was dead. The, the vines were dead. And what else am I going to do? I harvest more okra. I'm going to put that in the freezer. My eggplants are doing good. But the next time I come back with you guys, I'm going to have a little tour. Because I have so many babies that are blossoming to have that have shown up in the nest and i'm excited about it so all right guys uh, thank you for inviting me into your home thank you for coming into my home and i'll see you next time